got my coffee. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I should be drinking water anyway. Mm. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. It is, what is the day? It is Monday, it is Monday. Um, so, first things first, today we are gonna get festive because I'm just in that festive mood. I need some festivities in my life. Festive spirits, festive vibes, which I briefly talked to or talked to you guys about in the last video. Um, also wearing my team holiday spirit crew neck, which I love and, and my Grinch sweatpants and festive socks. Like I said, I need the festive cheer in my life, okay? So we're going for it. With that being said, a couple of days ago, I was scrolling on the internet, you know, as one does occasionally, and I saw this Christmas tree. Now you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. If you follow me over on Instagram, you already know what's going on. However, I'm scrolling and I see this Christmas tree. Some girl posted this tree and I'm like, this girl knows what's up. She found a good tree. I hear Liam in the background, he's so funny. He's playing in the living room with Larry. Um, but I saw the Christmas tree and I was like, I have to have that Christmas tree. Never before have I seen a Christmas tree online and was like, yeah, I totally gotta have it. Like, that's just not me. That's not, that's not usually what I do. But it sparkles, it glistens like freshly fallen snow. Sparkles. If you know, you know. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Then I read her caption and it says something about it being a viral Christmas tree selling out everywhere, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, great, okay. <laughs> well, okay, so it's some kind of a crazy viral Christmas tree. So I tell Larry, I'm like, babe, you fancy a little trip to Home Depot where this Christmas tree is? It is called the Grand Duchess <laughs> Christmas tree. I was like, I wanna see if they have it. I was like, I love it. He loved it. I showed him and he's like, oh, that's really pretty. Where's it at? And I said, Home Depot. So we go to Home Depot, we take a little family trip and we found the last Grand Duchess. Now, originally, which is amazing by the way, truly amazing, very exciting. So I sat on the box, it's a little dramatic, but anyways, Larry ran and got the flat cart and Liam and I looked around at the stuff. Well, we guarded the box, we did, I'm not gonna lie. We waited right by that tree. Nobody was interested in the tree, nobody came by. So it was all ours, I didn't have to fight anybody for it. Not that I would, <laughs> but um, it was really funny, it was cute. We got the last tree. Um, got it home and we set it up. Like I was so excited. My mom was really excited to see it too. She really wanted to see the tree. So I'm like, let's just set it up. So I am going to throw, throw, what the heck? I am going to roll the footage of us setting up this beautiful Christmas tree. Um, you may have already seen it on my Instagram. It is just beautiful guys. Oh, okay. So let me, let me stop talking. So I could sit here and talk to you guys for a hundred years. Okay. Here's the footage of Home Depot number one with Liam, which I'll explain in a second. And number two, setting up the Christmas tree. So we're at Home Depot and we just got the last nine foot Grand Duchess balsam Christmas tree. <gasps> guys, this is it. It's multi-changing, it twinkles, it's incredible, and I'm literally blown away that we just got the last one. We got the last one, Liam! beautiful isn't it oh my gosh phenomenal thing I've ever seen in my life. Is it not? Like you don't even you have to fluff it. You, you see that? It. I'm fluffing. But you but you really you don't need to fluff it. It comes fluffed. Yeah it goes right in shape by itself you just pull it down. You literally don't have to do anything. This is the best tree I've ever had. It looks good. Okay. Steady white light. That's the steady white light. Steady multicolored light. That's the best. Babe, look, it has the white with the multi. 
Yeah, I like that. This is like what you do, but we don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to strand extra legs. It's just incredible. Okay. Can you see her? I'll help guide her in. Looks like. Yep. Goes this way. Yeah. You're still gonna need the ladder to get up there. Oh, I don't know. That looks beautiful. I just, I just. There's no work. Do you think how long it would take you to string all those lights on this? Ah, yes. We've done it every year. Not this year, honey. Oh, I'm so glad I saw this on Instagram yesterday. I saw it and I was is, like, I have to have it. Is that the one you saw the chicken? Yeah. You were lucky. I know. That's why I said it was the last one there. It was by itself on the floor. It was the only one. Yeah. I was like, we have to get it. <laughs> she did say that. Oh, it's what so What did you beautiful. say, Mindy? We have to get it. Oh. So it's that's the only that. one here. It was meant to be. Here's the twinkle. I don't see any twinkle. You see it? I don't yeah, see I see it. Twinkle. I don't see any twinkle. I love this. Oh, I see twinkle. I think it's prettier in the color, though. Of course, I always like the color. She's not lying. I don't like that. That's too chaotic for me. It makes my eyeballs hurt. You don't like the color? Looks like she's upset. No, I like I like the color. I do too. I also like this. I like them both. That's not bad either. Well, one day you can have color, one day you can have twinkles. Oh my gosh, isn't it incredible? Beautiful. It's a lot different than the Halloween tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we get it in uh, into place, into position? You can put it anywhere you want. Oh, we've got D up here. Looks good. I love this in the mirror. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Um, so I think we just back it up a bit. Not too much, just um. Oh, it doesn't really move, does it? Sure it does. Maybe it's good? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it is phenomenal. Look at it. Look, just look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 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 Guys, oh my gosh. Christmas has come early. <gasps> Look at it. Pure magic. Kudos to Grand Duchess for actually saying that you can put four pieces of tree together and actually have it work. <laughs> Grand Duchess. Look at it. It's like stress-free. It's just perfect. You don't even have to fluff it. It comes with multicolor and white lights which I'll show you guys. Many different settings. I love the mirror back there with the reflection. How cool is that? Okay, so here's your remote, which is not focusing. Hello, focus on, this is just the tree. It's so beautiful, it won't focus. Okay, here's the steady white light, steady multi. That, and that's the prettiest right there. <laughs> my mom loves the steady multi. Larry would probably agree, but what I like about the multi on this one is it still has the white light in it because a lot of the multicolored trees they don't have any of the white lights which is why every year larry would like string multicolored in with our which white lights you like the best, larry? Oh. Yeah, I do too. Me and guys your, me and your father. yeah you both he, like the color mom likes, likes the white color too. but you cannot deny that white twinkle is it's pretty nice it's, very it's so pretty, pretty. Yeah. i like this too though i do let me know in, in the comments below guys do you like the all color or the white, but we'll go through them. I like both, it's hard to pick. Artificial or live? Oh, that's another debate. Well, Florida's complex with a yeah. live tree. No, that I, it's... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want a live tree. I think if you had a real tree that size, all the things would fall off. Yeah. And, and we have completely put this together, put it in place, have it lit. There's barely any, I mean, there's some. I see maybe a dozen pieces yeah. of tree on the floor. We've had trees in the past that have been horrible <laughs> with that. I, I, I don't understand how an artificial tree can shed more than a live tree. <laughs> Lexi, look! And Lexi loves to sleep under the tree. We have it out very early this year. Hey, Lexi. Mama needs some happiness. Merry Christmas. Yay! Okay, so here was the steady multicolor. Oh, look at that. It's the twinkle. There's the slow fade white light. 
slow fade oh, malty. So much prettier, Mindy. Oh, my mom. It really is. Ask Larry. He'll tell you. Oh, gosh. And story. then we have <laughs> they are against me, guys. We have the slow color variable. See, that's too flashy. That's going to give me a migraine. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> This is the fast color. flip. That's better than that last one. Slow flip. Oh, look, slow flip. Yeah, I like that. That's beautiful. Best of both worlds. Now we won't have arguments over colored and white. <laughs> and then slow fade. <laughs> 3,400 micro fairy lights. Wow. And this is the nine foot Grand Duchess balsam fir. Okay, so let's recap really quick on Liam at Home Depot. So they have like this huge life-size Santa Claus there. And this is the first year that Liam is kind of like, oh, what's that? Like, that's interesting. And he wasn't terrified. He didn't cry, but he did look at him like, that is huge. What is that, man? Like, what is that? So I'll be interested to see how the visit with Santa goes this year. But, um, and then, yeah, just looking at all the pretty lights and the stuff, it was really, really exciting. And then my old tree was perfect. Great condition, <laughs> fluff. Um, however, my parents actually needed a new tree. So I'm like, right, I totally justified the whole situation because I was like, well, mom and dad could really use a new tree. Their tree branch, like a tree branch broke off of it. It's also artificial. And I was like, well, if we get this one, we can give mom and dad our old one. So it all worked out. I took that over to my parents' house with Larry and my mom and Liam yesterday, and we got that one set up. The thing with that one, though, is, again, same household issue here. It's not really an issue, but it's one of those, like, holiday things. First of all, you guys answer the question down below. Are you team colored lights or are you team white light? Okay? That's usually the satisfact like are we satisfying the white colored or the white light people or the colored light people the tree that i just gave my parents is white light only so then larry would string in color throughout the tree when was usually caused some kind of a fuss not gonna lie um but then mom's like can larry string in some color and i'm like oh no i was like i totally got this tree so larry wouldn't have to do that but of course we're gonna help mom string in some color because we got it set up and dad was like where's the colored lights and i was like funny this one only comes with white but we're gonna string the color in so both trees our new tree and my parents tree are nine footers larry and i were trying to get a 12 foot christmas tree up in here and we measured and it just i don't think it was going to work we'd have to put it in the center of the room because that's where the ceilings are the tallest and obviously you're not going to put your christmas tree in the center of the living room block the tv block the fireplace not a good thing so we went with the nine footer liam loves the christmas tree every single morning it is so so cute i'll pick him up out of his crib or larry whoever goes and gets them and then I grabbed the remote control. It comes with like multicolored color, uh, white. I already ran through this. You guys saw it in that video, so I don't need to repeat that. But it came with a remote control. So I'm like, cool. So every morning, Liam and I say, are you ready for your Christmas tree lights? And he'll look at the remote, look at me, and get excited and look at the tree. He knows what Christmas tree is. I say, where's your Christmas tree? And he points to a Christmas tree. And um, we turn on the lights, and he just gets the biggest smile on his face. He loves it so much, and it brings so much joy to his face, which brings joy to, like, my soul. Seeing him see the Christmas tree in the lights and just see the pure happiness on his face melts my heart. It is the best thing in the world to see your child so happy. And it's just, honestly, it's probably my favorite part of the day is just seeing him or all the, the parts of the day where he's just so excited about things. So anyways, yes, we got a new Christmas tree. I'm loving it. I'm very excited about it. And then what else did I need to tell you guys about? I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. I'm going through some things. We're just going to leave it there for now because I'm not sure what's going on. But it has been it has been a very long week and a half. I will tell you guys that right now. I just, it has been crazy. I just jumped topics, but do know that life right now is a challenge, but we are going to get through it. Um, but yes, so the Christmas tree, I don't think I'm going to decorate it. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Jumping ship to another topic. 
Um, a lot of you have been asking like what's going on with the paint shop because if you remember we had the baseboards all painted in the house and I wanted to have the living room project painted. So right now our living room bookshelves on either side of the fireplace are like this creamy yellow I think it's like a white oak or some kind of thing but it looks aged I don't know I don't really love it so I'm usually a very white walled white individual kind of person if you guys remember our old house everything was pretty much white so what I'm thinking is white bookshelves beautiful hail navy blue wall behind the tv like an accent wall and then yeah I think that's what we're gonna do so the white the white and white trim around the fireplace um I think for now we're gonna leave the brick orange I do want to paint it but I remember the painters being like ah maybe don't paint it because it's not real brick it's like um it's not a real brick so she was she was a little unsure if we should do that or not so we'll see I kind of want that like whitewash that would have worked great if we had real brick but anyways we'll see what what she recommends but I don't want to like decorate for Christmas until that's painted because I'm gonna have to take everything down I do have two Christmas trees up and I do have my Santa Claus painting up I'll show you guys that in a second but I don't want to decorate those areas and then have to take everything off wait for everything to dry and then put it up and then I have that huge wreath if you guys remember that last year that's gonna go way up on the top of the wall but yeah I think the living room's really gonna transform into like a completely different living room once you guys see it all painted once I see it painted I am so excited to see that painted it was supposed to be done the first week of October October wow no first week of November um, which I told you guys, which is why you guys are like, hey, what's going on with the paint project? You still doing it? We're still doing it. Um, but they have another project that they need to finish. So ours got delayed a little bit, which is totally fine because life is complex. Life is really busy and it is what it is. So it'll happen when it is ready to happen. But it is supposed to happen next week, which I'm really excited about. And then we can full on decorate. So now with all of that being said now that you guys are kind of like up to date on festivities christmas decor all of that good stuff i need to figure out the rest of the day what's going on i need to put some laundry away i need to do a load of my mom's laundry that's in the washer that just finished up um and just kind of like get myself organized i think i'm gonna make it really simple tonight and just do pizza for dinner like just order out pizza <sighs> again life is a wild ride and I will get into that eventually when I am ready to talk to you guys about everything I promise I will talk to you guys about everything I know that there has been questions about when and if I'm going to talk about like when I'm going to share the results of pregnancy again just thank you so much I know that you guys are super excited and that makes me very happy and it excites me as well but once Larry and I are ready to share I promise we are going to share with you guys but we are not ready we are not in a place that we can share we're not in a place where we're able to share so um but yeah so I just want to do something really simple really easy where I don't have to think too much about anything and just order some pizza and I really wish I had the um I'm craving cookies what do I want like the little sugar Pillsbury <sighs> Christmas tree cookies I don't know if they have those out yet but that is really 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 what I want right now I just want some cookies just my cookies and Christmas can anybody else relate cookies and Christmas bringing us some festive cheer anyway I got my Christmas bedding on guys that's really cute too the only thing I will add like I'll be completely honest about that target bedding that I showed you guys in that haul it is really cute but it is the scratchiest like it is not I have my sheets are very soft I have two sets I have a flannel set that's really soft and then I have a normal like white sheet that's really soft and these they're cute they're cute honey but honey they are scratchy like these like can you guys and they're icy cold like when you lay in it, it you you may like a cold bed sometimes I like a cold bed moment but they're like just you know what I'm trying to say is they're very cute but they're not the softest of, of sheets so we'll leave that there I'm still keeping them and I'm still leaving them on my bed obviously because they're adorable <laughs> so I'm getting ready to edit the video that you're seeing now and I was adding the clips in and it dawned on me I didn't tell you the story a story that I absolutely need to tell you guys about this little kitten 
So at our house, we have this black mommy cat that walks by all the time. She's been here ever since we moved in here and we see her walk by back and forth all the time. She's an outdoor feral kitty and I have seen kittens like in the past walking by too. They're all black cats um, and they're like this little family they always walk by. So my mom was sitting on the lanai. We had just gone to bed and she was sitting outside and she texted me and she's like, there's somebody walking out back. And I'm like, there's no way somebody is walking out back. So I checked the cameras. I'm like, no, nobody's out there. Like everything is fine, mom. She's like, no, there's somebody walking. And I'm like, mom. So we go outside and we're like, I don't, I, you know, we hear something, but I was like, no, there's no way somebody is walking outside. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So we go to bed. The next morning, we're outside, we're relaxing, and we let Lexi out on the lanai. She runs out on the lanai and she runs right to the corner of the lanai and she's like a meerkat doing one of these and she's looking out into the woods. And I can see and I can hear like all this brush and stuff like falling over and twigs and branches. So Larry kind of like tiptoes out there and he's like, what the heck? So he's looking around. And we thought maybe a possum, maybe a raccoon, like something is out there, but we didn't know what. So Larry goes inside to grab something and then he was gonna get binoculars to see if he could see like further back. So then my mom's like, I'm gonna go check it out too. So then mom waltzes back there and I'm like crouched down, like peeking in and stuff. And then my mom comes out carrying this thing and I'm like, oh my God, what is it? What's in the woods? What is it? What are you bringing out? And it was a kitten. One of the black kittens had gotten its head stuck in a gourd and the gourd was so hard like plastic and there was this tiny and I mean tiny little hole this big guys and that's the only way that kitten could breathe and survive. It was a miracle that cat was probably what my mom was hearing in the like last night and the poor little thing the neck was all sweaty and wet it was panicking so I ran and I grabbed a towel I wrapped the cat up in the towel my mom held the little kitten and then like I held the gourd and kept that still while Larry grabbed these like special cutters and like cut it. And it was really scary because I'm like, oh my God, this poor cat. And then the cat got really still and I think he knew, he or she knew that we were trying to save it. And I'm thinking, my gosh, if we weren't out there, this kitten would be dead. And how sad for mommy cat because there was nothing that she could do to help her little kitten. It was so sad. It made me so frustrated. I'm like, oh, this poor cat. Um, we did successfully remove the piece off of this kitten's head. Um, so I'm going to share that footage of the little adorable kitty um, here now. We just saved this tiny little kitten in the woods. We heard this noise in the woods. And this is what its head was stuck in. And we just cut that out or cut pieces out and freed the poor little angel. Hi, baby. So yeah, I didn't film like afterwards, but I ended up filling like a bowl of water and some food and I set it down. Well, actually I didn't even set it down. We were walking out back and I was gonna set it by the woods. I wasn't gonna leave it out there cause I don't wanna like leave food out there and lure in whatever else lives out in the woods. Um, but I just wanted to give the kitten like some fresh water and some food just in case. Like, I don't know how long that poor little angel was stuck in that thing. But um, mom set the kitty down and kitty ran 100 miles per hour, prancing through the woods, hopefully reunited with its mom. Uh, wanted nothing to do with my food and water, obviously. Um, so I just picked up the food and water and took it back inside. But it was so heartbreaking. And I'm just thanking God that that little kitten wound up in our woods, in our backyard, and that we were able to rescue the poor little thing. It was so pitiful. He was only this big guy. It's like tiny, teeny, teeny little thing. So we did our good deed. I felt, uh, it's all we talked about all day. My mom texted me this morning. She's like, have you seen the little kitten? And I said, not yet, but mommy and kitten walk by quite often. So when they do, I'm gonna snap a picture of them and send it to my mom, but uh, it was an experience. Okay, so here's our dining room and I put the print there. That's where the white um, glass prints were. And then here's our little pencil tree. And then, he, no, I'm talking to the camera, mama. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but the painting went here. We got this at Hobby Lobby last year or a couple years ago. I'm not really sure. And then I had somebody asking me about this. They couldn't find it at Target and asked what the brand is. It looks like it's a Target brand though. Yeah, it's the Wonder Shop brand. Um, so, but yeah. That's what it's looking like so far. I really like it.
All right, guys, so I am going to end this vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, thank you for listening to my little life recap. I will see you guys again in the very next video. Bye.